Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. Hi, I'm Sharon. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be opening a mystery bag that I bought from Woucher. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Woucher is an online um, shop where you can get all sorts of really good deals. They do um, spa days, afternoon teas, hotel stays, holidays. Um, so yeah, this time it's a mystery bag. Um, it is already open, I will confess, because... When I, when I ordered this, I also ordered my friend a birthday present from Amazon and I thought this was the birthday present. So I opened it, put my hand in and pulled out the first item. Very quickly realised I was wrong and um, popped it back in, didn't look at anything else. So I'm going to fish around, try and find that item first and then have a look at everything else um, with you guys. So let's see. Um, oh, and just to say... This cost eighteen ninety nine, and there's five items. Um, it was at a, a couple of pounds postage, so about twenty pounds in total. So, realistically, I'm looking for things to be worth four pounds each to get my money's worth. Um, let's see. So, if I can find, yeah, here it is. This is the thing I pulled out by accident the other day. Um, I don't know if you can see. That's the brand, and then inside, if you can see that, it's some wired earpods. Um, it does say that they're 2XL in size. I don't know if that means that the cable length is more, or if this bit that goes in your ear is bigger. Not sure. Um, either way, earbuds, they always come in handy, don't they? Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I will quite happily stick those in my travel bag next holiday. Um, they are a normal headphone jack. I've got an iPhone, but I've also got an adapter, so that's not that's not going to be a problem. Okay, what's next? Okay, so the brand is Xenox, and there's a code. And can't see anything on the packaging. It looks like there was a tag there, like a plastic. Yeah, there's the other half sticky thing. So it's already been opened, let's see. Okay. So we have this, and then some bits that look like they go on the table, and a wire. Still none the wiser. And then we have some very small writing. So bear with me while I get my reading glasses. One second. Okay, I'm back. Now I can read. So this is a wireless charger. Um, it says applicable devices and then it's got a few of which I can't see Apple listed but then it does say and more um, and then I'm not really sure what we do and then put your phone on here by the looks of it um, so this bit is plugged in so this bit's wired and then you just pop your phone on there by the looks of it um, it does mention some other iPhones, 5, 5S, 6 Plus, etc. But um, mine is a newer one than that. So whether it works with that, I'm not sure. I guess there's only one way to find out. Um, so not really sure if that one's any use yet. <clears throat> Most people I know have got iPhones now as well. Paul's got a Huawei. So... Maybe it will work with his, but otherwise, I think pretty much everyone else I know is on iPhones. 50-50 mm. about that. We'll see if that's any good or not. Oh, what else have we got? Uh, oh, can you see that? It's a credit card case in a, like a brushed aluminium. Um, and it does say it is actually aluminium, so it's a, you know, a good sturdy one. Um... And that opens up, if you can see there, to hold six credit cards. Um, so that's quite useful, actually. I, I guess, like most people, I rarely take cash out these days. I think less and less people are using traditional purses and wallets. I know for me, it's my Apple Pay. And then I know you might want something to put other cards in. So I, I can see that that would be very useful. Maybe not for me. But maybe that might turn up in somebody's Christmas stocking this year. I can think of a few people that would, you know, make use of that. So 
Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm impressed with that. Okay, next. Polaroid. Mm -hmm. Love Island. I mean, I've never watched the show myself. Um, it says Polaroid, so I'm guessing this is some sort of Love Island branded sunglasses. Yes, it is. Okay. They're quite nice, actually. Let's take these off. Oh, don't need those anymore. Um, like an aviator style. I'm going to leave the protective sleeves on just in case I don't keep them. Mm, what do you think? Do they suit me? Drop a comment below. Should I keep them for myself? Should I gift them on? <laughs> Seem nice and sturdily made as well. I think they're quite nice. No idea how much you pay for those, but I will have a little fish around and a look. Um, comes with a bag which says Polaroid, but not Love Island. So if, like me, you're not a fan, um, you wouldn't feel too daft walking around with that little bag. Pop those in there. Nice sturdy case. Oh, I quite like those. So how many is that? One, two, three, four. So one item left. Quite a big one, this one. What have we got? Mm. Okay. I like this one. This one might not be making it very far. I think this one is mine. This is, I don't know the brand, Vho, Vecto. So it's got both. It's got Vecto there, Vho there. I don't know if one's the brand and one is the item name. But it's a wireless speaker designed for outdoor use, so it's waterproof. Um, we do do a bit of camping. I think this would be ideal. Or for in the garden. Um, hmm. Hopefully the sound quality is good. It's not a brand I've heard of before. So if you have heard of this and if you've got one of these, let me know what you think. Is it worth keeping? Or should I keep that shrink wrap on and again, either try and sell it or gift it on? Um... Oh, and it's got an integrated phone charger. Even more, even better. I, I'm really happy with this, actually. I mean, I don't know how much everything would have cost. I will price things up and um, toss it all up, I think, if I can. Um, so we have the wireless speaker, sunglasses, card wallet, the wireless phone charger, and then this is just the making up the numbers one, I guess, the ear pods, earbuds. But actually, all pretty useful. Oh, I, oh, I think I've done well with that. If you've seen my other voucher bag, the household items, not so lucky with that one. If you haven't seen it, I will um, put a link for it on at the end. You can have a little look and see what you think, see if you, which one you think was the better value. Uh, personally, this one by far, it did cost a little bit more to buy than the household items, but to me, hands down, by far, much better quality. Thumbs up from me, I'm happy. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing. I'd love to have you along on my journey here on YouTube. I hope to, hope to see you again. Take care now. Bye.